everybody. So, <laughs> Mark made a right mess up of the intro there, didn't he? We yep. weren't live then. You had to wait for the pink bus to go past. What did you do? Stop it. I was I, waving and shaking my head. I know. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm out of practice. I've not been here for a while. So, so hi everybody. Sorry. So it's me in the kitchen, keeping it real with Karen McFarland, as I learned at the weekend of everybody. And we have Mark on camera. Hi Good Mark. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. So he's not been on the cameras for quite a few weeks in fairness. So he started playing the outro first and he quickly stopped that and put the intro in. Then he said, Mike's on. I thought, no, they're not sure on yet. <laughs> There's a bit more. Anyhow, but you're here. So uh, Mark's going to do comments tonight, and I am going to tell you what I'm going to be doing tonight. So we're going to have a plate covering a cake again. That would be fun, won't it? I think I might get that little rolly out again, actually. So, Mark, how are we doing? I'm doing very well. How are Good. you, Carol? And how's our audience building? They're building up nicely, nicely. underneath. That's what we want so far. So what have I done with my little leaflet? There we are. So let's just tell you what's going on in a few weeks. So for those people up in Scotland, um, so Karen and I are going up to Scotland. So if we just go to the overhead mark. Yeah, I've got to remember if I put that there, now. can you see it? Stand On there. camera. I'm getting the right. <laughs> God, I'm so out of practice. Oh, there dear. we go. Can you zoom into that? Yeah, one second. Okay. There we go. So, um, the Sugarcraft Show is on in Scotland on the 17th of June, okay? So, lots of demonstrations, workshops, the best sugar crafters in the UK, that's me and Kaz, so <laughs> we're going. Uh, there's a competition theme, sound of music, entries assessed by the expert British Sugar Craft Girl judges, uh, and it's at the Park Hotel Kilmarnock. So if you know where that is, because I didn't know where it was, I actually thought it was an island. So I thought I'd double book myself and book myself a trip to Ireland and Scotland all on the same day. That was going to be fun, wasn't it? So it's a one day show. I think it's £8 a ticket. You book online. Now, the interesting thing is it doesn't give you the website address on here. That's a bit weird, isn't it? So, it just the email address, isn't it? Pardon? Uh, competition schedule from... Yeah. So, if anybody can find the link, put it on there. Natalie Porter's going to be there, Karen Davies. Um, I don't know if Kate Flicks are actually going to be there, but I'd like to think they are there, because they're up there, the lads, aren't they? So, I'm sure that they will. Uh, Suzanne Esper will be there. Uh, totally Sugar, the Kate Shop, lots of things. Cassie Brown will be there. And, of course, Karen and I will be there. So, eight I was going to say, more ticket. importantly, you're going to be there. Absolutely. Sugar and crumbs. Yes. So um, if anybody can find the link, pop the link on, and when you go and buy it, just say you got told by Carol from Sugar and Crumbs to pop along. It's going to be a great day anyhow. Um, we'll be there. We're going to be just doing demos with nozzles and stuff, taking some sugars. We're not going to take everything we've got. We'll take a, a small selection for the day of bits of things that we've got. And uh, hopefully we go up there with a van full and we come back with an empty van. That's what we're looking for and meet lots of lovely, lovely, lovely people. Right then, so let's get that out of the way and I'll come back to that later. Who's going? Mm -hmm. Who knew about it? In fact, actually, who didn't know about it? I didn't know about it until now. You didn't, did you? you? Yeah. Are you going to package me in a box and take me up with it? If you don't want to be paid, yeah, well, certainly take your help. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're going to play with the sticky toffee cake mix, okay? We're going to make some muffins with these. So how much is a muffin in Costa Coffee or Starbucks? So we've got these um, sticky, we've got these um, cake mixes. We do them in 500 grams. By the end of the week, we'll be doing them in one kilo bags. And we're gonna play with sticky toffee. And I am going to make some large muffins. Now PME have brought out this beautiful range of muffins. So let me just take them all out of the boxes so you can see them. Fab. These are mine actually. But I'll take them out from the bottom. It's easier to take from the bottom time I've took them out from the top so look at them bad boys aren't they brilliant so I'll use them tonight aren't they lovely and colorful so we'll use those okay so you've got those are called rainbow stripe and I love these and we have a blueberry flavor as well so these will go lovely with these so these are uh, blueberry and I think they're beautiful then so we've got lovely, beautiful blueberry flavouring, um, which would make some beautiful blueberry cupcakes or um, some, well, they're not free hands, but something similar to free hands in a muffin. We must try them, actually, in a muffin case. Uh, bananas. 
which I think is super cute. Mm -hmm. And you lot have been buying these for fun, really gone well. I had to really stock up. So uh, banana ones, they're lovely, nice and summery them, aren't they? So you could do these with mm. nice toppings on, couldn't you? Banoffee. Yes, yeah, so you could. Actually, the sticky toffee pudding with some uh, banana split icing sugar drizzled over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or buttercream, yeah. It would, be, it would taste like banoffee, but not banoffee. So let's just move those there. Then we've got rainbows. So this is rainbow stripe. And this is rainbows. These are lovely. The little girlies are going to love these. Oh, maybe the little boys might like them as well, actually. Who knows? But those are really pretty as well. Get them ready for pride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's coming up again soon, isn't it? It is. Coming up to summer. Ours is in August. Is it different times around the world? Oh, don't ask me that. Uh, ours is August up here in the north, isn't it? Then we've got rainbow dots. Who's had some of these and loves them? So I'll get Mark to, while he stays on overhead, he can have a little look at the comments. Don't have to yeah, I'll have a look comments. at the comments. And uh, Jackie McMinn, she's saying, I'm coming to help Carol and Karen. Yes, she is. Can actually. he wait? Yeah, can he wait? <laughs> so. Hey, Jackie, I was a naughty girl and ordered two of them t-shirts yesterday. I had them in my basket all day and then I painted the basket last night. But right, that's it, I'm having them. Yeah. And um, then, Nikki and myself have put the uh, link on to uh, to the uh, the show. Oh, did you find the show? I found the. I did find the link. How did you find that? Because I got it on my phone, and then I just you know, ah, oh, okay. bit of Google searching. Um, Flower bouquet. They're pretty as well, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? Then I think people are going to love their cupcakes. They're, they're they? love that. Th those are my favourites so far. Is it? Yeah. Well, funny enough, that sold the fastest actually. Really? That one and raspberries. What can I say? I know, exactly. And then this one is Isolated Blooms. I thought that was quite a weird name, really, but you know what? It's just random little flowers all around the cupcake, which I think is quite good. Right around the cupcake, around the case. I've, I've just got to pretty. say a special hello to uh, Carol. Yeah? My uh, virtual wife. <laughs> she had a personal message on there. Oh, hello, Mark. So, <laughs> oh, hello, Carol. <laughs> did I tell? Did you hear what happened with that? So, I don't know how you ended up becoming. No idea how that husband. happened, but. But her husband came here again the other week, and I said, "See you, Mark." And he turned around, and I said, "And he said, Frank." And I know he's called Frank. What should be called Simon now or something? But um, I know he's called Frank. So I said, "Oh yeah." Why am I calling you Mark then? He said, I don't know. Who's Mark? That's what I said. Well, who's Mark? Because <laughs> I thought that on that day, her husband had been here in the kitchen and they posted a picture of her husband here in the kitchen. And um, I think then when you came on, I think they got confused with you mm. and then I just assumed that his name was uh, Mark. It's all right. I confuse a lot of my <laughs> Lemons. Aren't they pretty? They're so nice. what do you think? Ooh, nice, you know, like aren't they? lemon bun or something Yeah, like that. have Ooh, our lemon, lemon drizzle buns. Yes. To be fair, you could use the, the lemon liquid. drop, the lemon drop mix, and then drizzle it with our lemon drizzle icing sugar. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they be nice? Aren't they looking pretty? So we're going to make some. Okay? I can't believe the price of them. Yeah, £2.49 for 24 No, I know, very they good value. Are a a aren't they? Yeah, I think they're great value. £2.49 for, uh, for 24 sorry. Not for four. So I'll just pop those over there. We're going to use these and we're going to use the Wilton muffin tin. Okay, so this is a king tin. Now I used to sell these, look, extra tall, but you can get Sorry. them off Amazon. You can get them off Amazon now, I don't sell them anymore. I'm just sticking to sugar and crumbs products and a few other things. But you just pop them in there. You can put them in your normal muffin tin. Okay, but we're gonna just put them in there so that they hold together well. But pop on Amazon and just put King Muffin Tin. That's all you need to do. You can get one off there. And that's ours. So we're going to do those. Leah so Gillam says, my lemon really... duffins would look great in those. They would. Absolutely. And then we're going to use the sticky toffee uh, cake mix. That's what we're going to make tonight. Okay. Mm. But first of all, I'm going to make the buttercream for my cake. Because I've got that in the mixer first. I'm going to go through and tell you all the things that we've got in at the moment. So let's get prepped up and ready. Yeah. So there's the cake mix. So what else have we got in new? Brushes. Lots of you lovely ladies have bought these brushes. Now these are your fine detail brushes. 
really, really tiny. I've never seen Lynn Woodward so excited about a little tiny brush that she can do her eyelashes with and her dotting with. But they are <laughs> tiny and they get up until they're quite big. So uh, these are perfect and they do have the Sugar and Crumbs logo on as well. I'm not going to take them out of the bag, but uh, they do have the Sugar and Crumbs logo. And then we've got these brushes They're as offer, well. They? They're on offer, yes, these are on offer. Should be twelve ninety nine, and we've got them on at nine ninety nine at the moment. So grab those. Oh, um, I do believe Claire's going to be using these on uh, Wednesday night. I know she was eyeballing them. And then we've got the new um, painting brushes in for your wonder dust when you luster in a cake. Look at them, lovely, nice, long handles and pink, especially for us. They come in two sizes, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. They come in a two centimeter and a three centimeter, and I've got three centimeters in my hands, so there must be another. There must be a two centimeter over here. But they're looking the same. There you go. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, they're looking very similar, aren't they? So I've uh, got two centimeters and three centimeters. They're lovely. Remember with your brushes, don't leave them soaking in water, all right? Because the water, it won't bring the paint off straight away, but if you keep leaving them in the water or put them in the dishwasher, eventually they will deteriorate. Look after your brushes. Look after your brushes, absolutely. Yeah. So the two centimetres, two forty nine, and three centimetres, two ninety nine. Yeah. So and then I'm going, again. I'm going to be crumb coating a cake again later. And I'm going to be using some of this acetate roll. I don't know which size, okay, but it's uh, show you how to get your sprinkles on nice and easy. So we're going to be using some of this. We definitely won't be using the big one. We may be using that one or that one. So there's two inch, four inch, six and eight inch, okay? And we'll be using one of those. I'll decide afterwards once I've, uh, I think it's going to be six really. So, um, and you can use these for your cheesecakes if you want to make really tall cheesecakes. You can use it for your chocolate work. So if you want to make, uh, put all your chocolate all over it and then pull it round your cake, you can use it for that. Lots of things you can use acetate for. So those are on the website as well. Mark does have the prices. I do. They start at two inch at three pound 25, you're going four inch at 3.99. Six inch is 5.75, eight inch 6.95. Yes and they are 500 centimetres long, all of them. Okay? How long is 500, 500 centimetres? 500 centimetres? Yeah, 500 centimetres. Oh, that's 197 inches long, all of them. They're five yeah. metres, huh? Yeah, that's it. Quite a bit there, isn't there? There's a lot there. There's a lot there. There's exactly. a hell of a lot there. Time. That's a good length, that. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, so these right. little bad boys here, these are our cocoa colours. Now, the first time we got the cocoa colours in, all right, so we have a set of nine already, and then we got another set of nine in from another supply and they went missing. So I was waiting for a really chuff of them to come in at Christmas, and uh, they actually went missing, and we don't know where they are, they've never been seen again. We've had a right round with the courier, but there you go. And then we got the second batch in, and the second batch wasn't playing the game, okay? And uh, Lee Carroll said, look, don't get rid of them, use them for your sugar flowers. So use them for your sugar flowers, so I sold them off cheap, but in the meantime, I had ordered a third batch from the same manufacturer. Now, I'm not going to order from this manufacturer again, not because I don't like them or anything. I just think, you know what, I like the colours, I like everything, but um, I just, I'm just i just going to go to where I get my other nine from. Um, so what I've done now is I've got all these as set, so I'm going to sell these off. Now, I sold them on Saturday at the Coffee and Cake Day, nine for £18. And I'm going to do that tonight on the website. So there's 50 sets available, nine for £18. Grab them now. Now, remember, I'm going to use them tonight. And um, they are beautiful. They're going to make great colours, but they are your cocoa colours, so you mustn't add them to meringue. Okay, um, so you can add them to your Swiss meringue buttercream, you can add them to normal buttercream, you can add them to your sugar paste, you can add, add them to your florist paste, you just can't add them to anything with a meringue in it. Okay, I, I've said that, I have said Swiss meringue buttercream, you add it afterwards, but just nothing with meringue, so no pavlovas, no meringues. And um, so they're going to be on offer now. They're on the website. Once they're gone, they're gone. Nothing wrong with them, they're beautiful colours. You've got wild lime. Uh, you've got teal, we have navy, indigo, cornflower, uh, flamingo, dark rose, hot pink, and we have magenta. Yeah, so we're going to be using those corn, cornflower and indigo are my favourite, they're really nice. So that's what we're going to be using. So Louise Rogers has asked, um, have you got any of those cake cups in uh, cupcake? 
Tulip Rapture. Tulip Rapture, thank you, sorry. Yeah. Um, have you got any for wedding or anything wedding-y? The ones that I would say that's wedding-y out of all those is that is this one, which is the flower bouquet. Yeah. That's about the nearest one there is. You have to have a look on the website, Louise, because I haven't got all of them here. There's quite a few different ones. Have a look on the website. But here, I would say those floral ones. But um, I'm, maybe not the others, no. The okay. others are a bit of fun. Okay. Uh, and I'm just scrolling back through the, the messages. But yeah. um, someone was asking about uh, carrot cake mix. Yeah. Is that coming back in stock? Is that in stock at the moment? Um, it's arriving on Friday. Arriving on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Thanks great. again to Nikki for putting all the. Um, We've disappeared. Oh, I'm thinking we disappeared off the screen. I'll just wiggle me out. You haven't. You just wiggle me out. Simon's forgetting. So, <laughs> so Simon. Nikki is putting the links again. on there. Hey. Eh? I, I can't. I'm a bloke. I'm doing two things at once. I can't do it. You start them tricks. Um, so yeah, Nikki's putting the links on. So everyone mm -hmm. who's watching, look at Nikki's links. Super. Right, so we're going to make some buttercream, get that out of the way. Okay, so I've already been whipping my butter. So we've had it at room temperature. Let me just give it a little blast again. So those of you who came to the house on Saturday, didn't we have a great day? I tell yes, you, we could not have asked for better weather. In fact, it was so glorious, we had to come in because <laughs> we were burning. You are burning? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't sit in the sun anyhow. I'll apologise to the ladies that did want to meet me as I was <laughs> working, unfortunately, and not able to get away. To be fair, Mark, lots of the ladies asked where oh, you were. No. We did say. Such a letdown, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Quite a lot, they said, oh, where's Mark? <laughs> He's hidden uh -huh. in a cupboard. Eh? He's hidden in a cupboard, not yeah. allowed out. <laughs> So I've got 500 grams of butter, we're using Lurpat tonight, only because we, uh, we got it cheap from Costco. Otherwise I'm not really bothered what butter we use, I don't care whether it's No, is that Lurpat or Lurpat or Lurpat spreadable? Lurpat block. Block. Yeah, not spreadable. I freaking open it's not spreadable, no? No, it's spreadable in the tub, isn't it? Yeah. Having said that, for buttercream, if you want to use spreadable, you can. Um, just don't uh, use it for your whipping it up. Just use butter. That's something I've learned. Yeah. So let's chop it in. Helen Miles is saying that I have to come to the, the other cake day in July. Oh yeah, yeah you will, you have to book it in. I it's 15th of July. 15th of July? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to put that in my calendar. So we've just got to book the weather again. The ladies had such a super time. I'll tell you what, it's probably one of the... We always have great demonstration days, but because this was a coffee and cake day, um, it was just totally chilled out and relaxed. The only thing I will do is, we're not doing as much cake next time, ladies. Far too much cake. To the point that me and Mark and John are about to have the last of the scones tonight. We've had a scone each. And, um, and it's scone. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, gone. well, whichever you want, everyone. I think I always call it scones. And then, um, Helen, uh, not Helen, I called her Helen before. Emma Hartlemore has made some barra breath. And I know she's put one in my freezer, but we've got a spare one, so I've treated Mark to it. So Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, so let's go and get it. So what, what time is it? What time is it on the fifteenth of July? You can come when you want. Come Starts on. at ten. Starts at ten. And everybody goes when they want to go. Right. Well, I have got. I'm DJing in the evening. Yeah. Just come in. But I'll come. I'll come along. A couple of hours. Face. So Emma made Barra Breath for us, so that has been presented to Mark tonight. Thank you. He's taking that home, yeah. Thank you, Harlem Horses. There you go. Yeah, Harlem Horses at Emma. Yeah, there we go. So let's chop this in. So the next um, Coffee and Cake Day, Karen Davies is going to be there, and Marion Frost. And uh, the ladies who are there now, when we sat around the table, it will be Marion and Karen will have a table each. 
and then you can just sit down and chat to them and they'll tell you about their products and how to use them no big demonstrations um, just showing you how to use them what they've got in and um, having a coffee and cake with them there we go right and you just buy direct from them on the day There's quite a lot of comments were saying that the Barra Birth was really nice. Yes, it is. And that I love it. Um, Angie Bread Bradbury is asking, what do you use the acetate for? I'm going to show you later. I'm going to show you what oh, I'm going to use it for tuned. later. Right, so I'm just going to put this back on the mixer again. So let me put that on there. Let me get this bowl here. I'll take a couple of hot minutes. I'm just going to put the kettle on in a minute. Uh, yeah, I'll... yeah. It'll be good to see Carol Gatsby. She's she's up. She's got it booked in on the fifteenth as well. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Carol brought a lovely fruit platter. Let's use plates here. That big brown plate. That big brown plate. Yeah. So let me just turn that up. We're a long way from the camera tonight, are we not? You want it closer? Okay. I'll get it closer. So I'm just going to put in a drop of water because I just want mine a bit looser. Drizzle. How much of the icing sugar is there? So well, we're doing a double mix. So we've got 500 grams of butter and 500 grams of lemon drizzle flavoured icing sugar. Okay. Did you get me peering at them then? Did you fade me out as I was peering at them? I like that. <laughs> I, I, I did actually fade you straight straight over because I... Because I could still see myself peering at them. <laughs> it, it, it faded very briefly. You look like briefly. a right weirdo. <laughs> no, you, you were just looking at the monitor to see where you, your bowl was at. Karen Nail was uh, asking for the photos. For the photos? Yeah. Go, go through the photos and put on the group and identify yourselves. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Tag yourself, basically. Yeah, a lot, of people, want, yeah, a lot of people wanted to know who people were, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I did ask them to tag themselves. Some have, some haven't. Right, let me get some piping bags. Our piping bags still haven't arrived yet. We're on some frigging boat here in the UK. They've docked. They've docked and they're in customs. Uh, let's see, can I use that bag? Yeah, I'll use that one. Liz Mosley saying sticky toffee is out of stock. Yes, it is. But it'll be back in on Friday. Friday again. It will be. All the cake mixes Seems. will be back in on Friday. Sorry, I know I'm showing you this one, but just get your mouth, your taste buds going. If, you're quite, if you want to place an order tonight and have cake mixes and you want me to put some in stock and happy to wait till Friday, but they won't dispatch till next Monday and I didn't think you'd want to wait that long. I 
I got my days muddled up. I actually don't know what day I'm on since I've come back off holiday and all these bank holidays. I actually don't know where I am anymore. So I thought we had a delivery today and then I phoned them and they said no, Friday. Carol Gatton is asking, can you freeze chocolate ganache cake? Uh, I've no reason why not. No reason why not. There's a few individuals questioning your measurements. Questioning my measurements? I know. The chicken. Questioning my measurements about what? Oh, the, 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 the icing, sugar, the butter, and this, that, and the other. Oh, do you know what? I put a kilo in. I did. Oh, God, I hope I put a kilo in. Uh, you, you, you thinking, put I did weigh a kilo. Blooming great big kilo. With yes, I did. I hope I put a kilo butter. in. <laughs> oh no, I don't know now. It was a big, but big. Well, Can you remember what I weighed? Did I weigh five hundred grams of icing sugar? I think I think you did. It's We're having that much of a catch up. Hey? <laughs> We're having that much of a catch up because I don't see it a bit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think I did because it was massive in that yeah, hole, wasn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to have to weigh this. That, well, there, that's there, how was there was definitely 500 that's grams of I butter. There was 500 grams of butter. And there was quite a lot of icing sugar. Yeah, let's just take that. I'll get another bowl in a minute. So there's 6.54 there and I'll weigh the bowl in a minute. Let's put that. Let's put that on there a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's 1,060 there in total. Yeah, 60 yeah. grams for the, for the, yeah. For the bowl. Exactly. God, you got me thinking there, sorry. It's like not me, right, it's, right, it's not me, it's everybody else. Weigh, I'm just... Let me weigh the plastic bowl. Yeah, because there's 1,000 there, so we weigh that. The, the bowl would weigh um, 250, Yeah, they are. The bowl weighs 81 grams. And to be fair, with everything else and the bit that's stuck on the thing. And you put a bit of air into it as well. Yeah. So it'll be lighter. So we're fine. No, we're fine. <laughs> Girls, we're fine. <laughs> Who's checking out? But I did say 500 grams of butter and 500 grams of icing sugar. I know I said that. Which is wrong. It's 500 grams of butter and a kilo of icing sugar. Oh my lord. Look. In fact, half my mix is on here. Let me get this off here. Every bit counts, doesn't it? Janine Emery's just said Mark, so I'm going to say hi to Janine. Hi, Janine. <laughs> Nikki King says it should weigh 1500. It should weigh 1500. It should have 1500. I think what they're referring to is 1000 thousand. Kilograms, bloody hell. Oh, a yeah. thousand grams of icing that. sugar. I am missing that. Oh, for God's sake, Carol. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> See, this is why I don't come in that often. I just distract. Do you know what? I'm going to stop all staff talking to me. Right, no, you're right. I was just testing that you all knew what you were doing. Right. You've all passed the test. <laughs> I've all passed. I did know, really. <laughs> God. Well, it tastes really nice, doesn't it? It does taste. I'm going to have to put it all in again, aren't I, for God's sake. Sorry. Oh, God, my back is frigging killing me. They are finding this rather hilarious. I'm sure they are finding it hilarious. Who's done the same thing? Do you know what I should do, me? I knew it was a 500 gram of butter, but it was a big block butter. I should have just put two in. Do you know what it is? Two separate ones. Because you always do 500 and 500. I always do two. I always do two butters, so when I'm doing a kilo, I always do two butters and t a, a kilo of icing sugar. So when two butters using, and two icing sugars. When you're using the whipping it up, it's the same as like for light, isn't it? It is, but I always, for icing sugar, I always do two butters and two icing sugars. Oh God, i put it back. Right, let's get another icing sugar out. You okay. just need another 500, 500 grams of icing I know, sugar. I have got no more drizzle. I'm going to have to mix it. Ooh, what flavours are we mixing it up with? Okay. Ooh. I know, I'm going to have to mix it. Right, let me see. 
grams of butter and 500 grams of icing sugar is a kilo isn't it and I should have 1500 shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh god what a dick. But as we've done on our wives before, even if you do make a mess of it, you can still bring it back. Of course. Oh, even I can bring it back. Yeah but I've got to be honest though, even if I, um, even if I was happy here in the kitchen by myself, it does taste nice. <laughs> I've got to squirt it all out this bag now. Oh, there. So, Karen Naylor and Nikki King, they've commented in relation to Lurpak, have now reduced their 250 gram blocks down to 200. Yeah, because it's uh, 500. Same with, same with anchor butter as well. Well, it's like everything. Do you remember when you used to get wagon wheels and they were massive? Oh and now they're tiny God, little things, oh, and Mars bars are massive. Oh, I had a bag of whisk, a packet of whispers, fours. You know the four yeah. packs, one twenty-five now, so they've gone up twenty-five feet. Yeah, and well they've gone size. down yeah. by forty percent. <laughs> I know, but they can't put all the prices up, so they've got to kid you, haven't they? Oh, it's just ridiculous, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. They've got to kid ridiculous. you. They've got to kid you that you don't notice. Right, I have to use that on there now. I tell you what, I wonder what new people are thinking who watch me and think, I've never watched that woman before. Look at her. Well, the thing is, anybody who's new to watching tonight, um, I'm very much not the professional. I'm not a hobby baker. I've got some idea. I don't know everything. But I just go with what it is in the kitchen. And then we all make mistakes, don't we? And I make them all the time live. Do I care? No, not really. It's only cake, I'm not going to get upset about it. The good thing is, it was noticed, but if I'd been on my own in the kitchen, I wouldn't have noticed that, if I'm really honest. So well done for those who are watching and spotted it. But that's why it's a community. Everyone looks out for each other. Exactly. But um, I've got to stop talking to the camera people one hour before I come in. <laughs> before they come in. <laughs> So basically, my, no, my new job now is when I come in... Shut your gob. Well, I was, I was going to say exactly that, but I was going to say, go to the kettle, yeah. sit the kettle on. Yeah, and shut up. <laughs> go back to your desk. Get everything all ready, go outside, chill out. I had this with Antonia last away. week. Antonia coming and she's chatting away and I'm chatting away. It's my fault as well. I'm chatting away. I've been chatting away to Mark. It's my fault entirely. And uh, chatting away, next minute we're going live. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Plus, I don't have my lovely Karen here setting it all up for me. Yeah. Right, let's turn the mixer on again. Right, we'll go back to that camera view as well. The one that's miles away? No, we'll go closer. We'll go hey? closer. We'll go closer. <laughs> Are you sure now, Mark? Right, let's do this. I'm going to have to have a bit more water to it. I'll tell you what I would have known, when I come to do my cake I'd known and be thinking, why have I not got enough buttercream? <laughs> so I'm just going to loosen this down, a bit of water. So Donna France has uh, just had some brushes, cupcake cases, and ice and sugar. She's going to be baking tomorrow. Yeah. There's, there's been a few comments and thanks for uh, for uh, the swift deliveries recently. Yeah, no, well. we're on it. So thank you very much. We're on it. I've got to give the the warehouse lads their due. They're they're on it. 
And, and to be fair, do you know what it is? Karen Griffiths is down there. I think she's she's frog marching around the building. <laughs> Can't mess about when she's there. <laughs> to be fair, they've always been good our ones, anyway. They've always been good. Can't remember. Right, right, let's start again, girls. So, 500 grams of butter, one kilo of icing sugar. Yeah. And if you want to know what flavour we've got here, we've got coconut and lemon. We've got 500 grams of lemon drizzle. It smells fit. And we've got 500 grams of coconut because I didn't weigh out enough. Up before. Andy Harvey's asking, have you tried your TD? Have you tried my TD? It says your TD, Carol. I don't know whether that's directed to you or getting to Carol Gatton me. I don't know what a TD is. My 2D. It says TD. Uh, a few people ordered the 2D nozzle. Oh, uh, the 2D. Right, okay then. Lee Carroll's on watching. Hello there. Just going to soften this down a bit more. I'll just say, Lee, in relation to your petals and the flowers that you did the other week when I was oh, doing yeah. the live. You did your mum, didn't you? I, 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 I took it round to my mum. My mum's. I'm not going to go with personal stuff, but basically, we're saying how beautiful they were, and it's just amazing how talented. Carol as well in relation to your little cupcakes and stuff for your piping. <laughs> Just how talented everybody is in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, because you took cup cupcakes. Cupcakes, well, didn't you? yeah, and 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 those things from from Lee. Yeah, no, you did do a nice little picture. That was lovely. That. Right, so I've made that lovely and soft. Right, let's see what we've got here. Should we start again now? Crikey, don't waste the piping bag. Hmm. And for the top. Well, it's the same stuff that's going through it, so. It is. Right, so. Turkish delight. Oh, I've hit it. <laughs> You've hit it? Yeah, of course I've hit it. You don't know how much bloody rubbish I ate this weekend. So, we had the ladies come, so we went for an Indian on Friday night. Then on Saturday it was cake all day. Then Saturday night we went to the Chinese. Then yesterday, on Sunday, went to our, our Laura's for a barbecue. Then I come back and had a scone last night. I had that rubbish. Just had another scone. Just had another scone. <laughs> Backly. No, nope, it's hidden. I'm going to stay hidden for a while. I know exactly where it is. Oh yes, because that was the Turkish delete actually from Turkey as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, I remember that stuff. now. The proper yeah, stuff. And I've had to hide it because I'm not letting anybody else get their hands on it. <laughs> right, let me get my cake. Oh dear. So you're using the easy cake mix and this is five ninety nine, is that right? It is. And it comes in one size, 500 grams. Yeah, but they will be coming in one kilo sizes. Ooh. Right, so Karen's made these for us. And, what was that? <laughs> Lee said he, she, he's put some um, scones in the uh, freezer for you later. I believe so. <laughs> so this one's lemon drop, I think this one's Genoese. I'm just gonna muddle it up. 
Just have a look, see if that other one's a lemon drop in the fridge there. Because oh, it? it should be two lemon drops. Yes. Oh, is it? That one's lemon yeah. drop. Pass this to the lemon drop, please. You want the other one? Claire will have the Genoese on, on Wednesday. Thank you very much. One lemon drop. Yep. One lemon drop, let's get it out. So this is the easy cake mixes. Now the easy cake mixes, you only need to put oil and water. And I'll show you how to make them in a minute. So they've got a nice rise on them. So I can't see any paper on there. No, it's gone. No soggy bottom either. Yeah, no, it's gone. And that's a good one on. Right, okay, just let me get these so. Right, you all know I can't cut, cut a cake for toffee, so... Oh no, I, I dis... No, I'm not believing that, because the last time you did that, you did it bang on. Oh well, uh, can't always guarantee it. It's, it's a fluke when I do it bang on, Mark, believe me. Uh, I don't worry about a straight cake. I know, I know, like, some of you, like, you've got to have it cut perfectly straight, but I haven't got enough time in my life to be that worried about it, to be fair. Do you like so, that cake, bulb? Eh? Hey? Do you like that cake, yeah. bulb? They're on offer as well, aren't they? They're Masonite on offer. Masonite, Masonite would, would affect. That's yeah. it. Right. Let's see how we're going. When this is in the fridge, freezing up, we'll then make the cake mixes. Now, what Claire does is way. she moves it round but I don't think I can do it like that mm -hmm. so mine's got a slight thing on it there so that's the inside normally what I do is Oh, actually, that's not bad, is it? Look at that. It's not bad at all, that. Both of them, to be honest. Look at that, I've got too bad. Boiled them straight. All right, isn't it? Right, okay. So I've got to get the tin out because there's a bit of a... It's gone past the pan. So I'm just going to trim it round here. You know when it goes over the pan? So I'm just going to trim it. Somebody rocks up with some booze. The what? Believe somebody rocks up with some booze on Saturday. Did they? That's what, according to these lot. Did they? <laughs> I would say that. I didn't know about it. <laughs> well, if I'd known, I probably would have turned up. <laughs> I would have said, "I'm going. I'm going quickly. Forget the meeting." <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. No. I don't drink, so I don't know. I'm just like, you know, in the top of the pan, it just sort of slightly bulges out a little bit. Nikki's so. just put the link on for that wooden 8 inch. It's not a wooden 8 inch, that one is a wooden 12 inch. Oh, sorry, Nikki, that's 12 inch. Right. Are they winding you nice. up about no, alcohol then, Mark? No, no they're just, just commenting who is it that brought the, brought the booze then, and I was like. Oh, is it? It might be people who didn't go. Who were jokingly saying who brought the booze? I, I believe it was she, the Harvey. She went there. Right. So cover our board. Right, Mark. We're going to go over the top here, love. Oh, it was after the event. Sorry. It was after. after the event. So the after party. So there was oh, an after party, is it? Yeah, they all went to an after party. I didn't go. 
Right, let me go and melt my jam. I'm just going to go and melt my jam a minute. Nice jam, that. Yeah, the best jam. Melt it. Just soften it in the microwave. Oh, I'm not allowed anywhere near the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I did the other day? What? So I was doing my gravy on a Sunday roast, yeah. as you do. And I've done all the, all the meat juices. Yeah. Got the meat juices, put them in a jug. I couldn't be bothered to slowly heat it up on the pan. Yeah. So I just stuck it in the microwave. Yeah. Pinned it for three minutes. Yeah, Pulled it out. No, it was fine. Pulled it out. Stuck a cold whisk into it. And it exploded. It just ripped, rose. It was piping hot. Cold steel whisk. Yeah, yeah. It went all over my hand and burnt me out. Oh. So, I'm not allowed near a microwave anymore. <laughs> Two microwaves you've done from now. <laughs> not bad, that, is it? <laughs> Starts the 2023. Yes, it should have gone to the spec savers, Elaine. No, I would say no, I should have. Right, okay. So. Put that there. I've got a little cuff in the middle. Now those who watch me know that I'm not great at covering cakes. Those who've never watched me before, you're now going to witness I'm not great at covering cakes. So. I don't have time to be gentle and eyeballing it and stuff like that. You know what it is? It's got to be what it is. There you go. Right, so we are going to put that one on there. So what you could do, you could do this first actually. tiny bit of jam in or you've got loads of jam or you don't even have to put any jam in. Don't worry about any of it coming out. There we go. Some cake. Now the reason I'm telling you about the cake mix is this. Right Mark? See that turntable mark there please. Sorry. The yeah, if you can do, just so that they can see on here. Mm -hmm. So it's quite soft this at the moment, yeah. so I need Let's to put this in the one. fridge. There you go. Right, so we do need to put it in the fridge. And we've got a bit of a lean again. Hey, my wonky tonk cake, got one in the raffle, I'm very happy about that. Right, so I'm just going to smooth that in for a minute. Then I'm going to put it in the fridge before it slides off. Now you can put dowels in if you want. In fact, I will get a dowel actually. It's okay with one second. The right load of racket. Oh, the plastic ones. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Let me cut the others. 
Sorry, has to be done the Mac Carol McFarland way. It has to be done the Carol McFarland way. Because I'm totally chilled out about it and relaxed. And the other thing is, the way I do it, you can do it. So you can follow all the professionals, which is brilliant. And that's when you want to do it to the T. But you know, if you're just making cakes for family and friends. All those professionals out there are brilliant, but I don't aspire to being a professional. I aspire to have fun. I have fun with you lot. I like making monkey tonk cakes actually. I think they should be the new rage. I, I mean, we've had my rustic. rustic cakes for years, haven't we? Debbie Hargreaves is commenting saying, is it me or is it that top one sliding? No, it's sliding, that's why we're putting the dowel in. I think she, she did comment before about uh, saying that she doesn't like using jam because it slides everywhere. It does slide everywhere, yeah. So I'm just going to pull those up a little bit. Yeah, the jam, the, my buttercream is soft, Debbie. See, it would, have, it would have been thicker if it wasn't uh, an extra fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what Carol was really. <laughs> I'm not a baker. I'm not going to pretend that I am either because I have no idea. I can't do this. Neither can I. I'm just sat oh, here for a laugh. The, oh, don't be daft. You'd be very talented, all of you. All of you that appear on Two and Crumbs are very talented. I'm just sat here because I just think, you know what? There you go, Matt. Ah, with that one. in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Did get you in the eye. Firing things at me now. Hey? Firing things at me now. <laughs> Ducking behind the screen. God, <laughs> 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 you lot. <laughs> right, there we go. It's all about having a laugh in the kitchen, right? Of course eh? it is. Right, let's just get this on. Get it in the fridge. How long are you going to put it in the fridge for? How long would you normally? It's going to go in the freezer. Is it going to go in the freezer? Yeah. Is it going to go in the freezer like that? No, we're going to put a bit more on. We're yeah. just going to put it in the freezer. No, we're going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes like this while we have a clean up. And then we're going to put the crumb coat on. Right, let me just put on a bit more buttercream. Yes, Lee. It, it pinged over this way. It did get in. <laughs> it did Twice. jump through the computer though, <laughs> underneath the computer. Didn't quite get in, get in. Not that good. <laughs> that was from Lee asking. What? If it got me. <laughs> so anybody who's never watched Sugar and Crumbs before and you wonder what the hell I'm doing, I've no idea myself actually. But I am trying to cover a cake the way that I do it. And don't worry, it's not going out to the general public. I'll be giving it to somebody who wants it. You should raffle it off. Hey, no, I'll give them away. <laughs> Always give them away. That's yeah, alright. Hey? That's alright. Yeah, it's looking alright. I've I've seen Worse. cakes like no I've seen cakes similar to that at wedding fairs going for like eight hundred quid. <laughs> Can you imagine got eight hundred quid for this? That'd be a right laugh. I, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> my mate of mine's pricing up pricing up his daughter's wedding, and I tell you, some of the cakes that are on offer, you think what? Well, cake is very expensive, and it has to be because of the time involved. It's what, what, what people don't see is the, the cost of the ingredients, the oven time, the time it actually takes to make a cake. Uh, some of them I think are overpriced. I don't mind, I understand that people have got to make a living. No, I understand people have got to make a living and stuff, but some of them, wow. Oh, I'm so we're just putting on the crumb coat at the moment, Mark. 
bit of leaky I'm, I'm amazed by it again. You've got me mesmerised watching that. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then that lot doesn't go into the thing you want. It can go in there. Because that's all no good. Right. So let's get this in the freezer. make a cake mix get that in the oven so that's out of the way we don't need that put that on there we don't need that we don't need that anymore that's going to go over there we don't need them that can go over there that's the ring to go on that let's have a bit of a clean up we need that back in a minute but i'll give that a wipe just just to reiterate was a lot of people say that you pay for the skill. I understand that. You you pay for the skill, not the time necessarily. Exactly. And you've worked over 30 years plus, yeah. etc. It's the sa same as in my field, DJing and stuff like that. I understand that totally. But when a lot of them pay... You could have started a wall there on your own I could have started a wall. <laughs> but I, I understand that people have got to make a living and stuff. But I think when some of them charge, like, for a cake not too dissimilar to that, at £2,000... No. Oh, I've seen them. You no. go to wedding fairs, some of them are like that. Hey, tell us which pound. wedding fairs. Us girls will all get on down there, aren't we? <laughs> we can knock them out that easy, can't we? <laughs> uh, no, what it is... I mean, I remember our Laura getting married, and we weren't doing cakes at the time. In fact, we had no interest in cake at all, Laura and I. And we went to this cake specialist shop, and I remember walking around looking at it, thinking, what? For a cake? Mm -hmm. You're laughing your head off? So Laura made her own, and she still laughs to this day at her bride and groom figures. I think she's shown you on the live, and we were all super chuffed with them. But when you start cake decorating and you see the proper ones, our Laura's look like she, she has got she has got them. They, they look shocking. <laughs> She'll tell you the same. But you know, you you pay for professionalism, don't you? Mm. Well, a mate of mine, he's, he, he does cakes for Paul Hollywood. Oh, yeah. So Find a Paul he, Hollywood, make his own. Well, no. He just he, makes bread, does he? Right, for instance, Paul Hollywood's wife's birthday. Yeah. My mate did his wife's, did the wife's birthday cake. Did she? And he really? does other things for, like, Oasis. and He's down in London doing yeah. all that sort of stuff. A very, very talented cake maker. Started off in Marple. Yeah. So they all Marple. come from Marple, don't Starting they? Start off in Marple. I'm and Ryan, the, Ollie the Chalk, your mate, are you DJing. Right? Yeah, 808 State, Disley, up just up the road. Yeah. K Class, they're in Marple. K Class, the yeah. big band. No, anyway, so talented around here, yeah. Yeah. And Carol's leading us all. <laughs> right, let me get that there. I've got to wash my bowl now to make this cake mix for you. Hmm? I said, I've just got to go off and wash my bowl. Do you, do you want now. me to do that? That's all right. I'll do it. Like, you'll have a chat to Mark, won't you, girls? Oh, dear. Hey, eh? <laughs> <And> boys. Oh, should I show them the products again and talk about the show and you did washing up? Yeah, you know what, you go to the washing up. Yeah, there's the list of prices. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it there, right there. Give that hot soapy water, rinse it out and dry it. Hot soapy water, hot rinse soapy it out. Hot soapy water, yep, and dry it. Ooh. I'll just go and get a clean cloth. Oh, yeah, I've got it Do you wash it up? Do we tell the missus that you wash up or do you do it at home? Uh, no, we don't tell them that. <laughs> what do 
What's your message called? Anita. Anita. Right, okay then. Um, Anita, you want to do the cake? Anita. Okay then. So what we're going to do is crumb coat that cake and then I'm going to cover it with some acetate and then we're going to um, put sprinkles on. Now I've never done that before either this way so it's all about trying isn't it? And that's what I do really. Got the gear and then I want to know how to play with it. So we're going to make some uh, colours as well because I've got some 2Ds. So I'm going to use these new cocoa colours because they are lovely. Now I'm only going to crumb coat my cake as well. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing the uh, full on nice smooth edge cake because I can't. blue colour. So we'll use some less for our sweet D nozzle. Give it a good shake. So we'll just put a bit in at first and then see how we go on. And then when you're putting in your colour, don't mix like that, just paddle it all in. Because if you mix, you get loads of um, bubbles and you don't want to do that. So look at that, it's a lovely blue, that, isn't it? I'm going to probably put too much in there. That just shows how strong they are then, doesn't it? Now these are on offer. Once these are gone, they're gone. So these are uh, on offer. And they should be £35 for nine. But I'm going to sell them to you for 18 for tonight only as a bundle of nine. So they're in the FB Live wish list. There's 50 packets in there, 50 packets of nine. So grab them while you can. That's counted by me. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the colour of the cake because I put far too much colouring in there. Oh, hear me. Because I wanted a cornflower blue. So I put far too much colouring in there, but that means I can't have pink then, doesn't it? Unless I make some more buttercream. Mm. No pink tonight, girls. No pink tonight. Let's just put that on there. Just look at that little bit going in there, isn't that lovely, that? So you didn't need a lot. And that's a lovely blue, isn't it? How many drops do you think I put in there? I didn't put many in. Do you want to go over the top so they can see it? Isn't it gorgeous that, isn't it? And I've got a few drops in. So I've diluted it down with this. There's no pink on this cake. Christine Robinson's asking, are you going to do anything for Father's Day? Um, we get Claire to do all that type of stuff, to be fair. She's more, she's the professional, isn't she? So she's got all the artistic flair, so we'll get Claire to do it. What was you thinking of, Christine? So I'm just making sure that's mixed in. <laughs> Pixie what? Hindle, that's what I was doing, I was having a bath. No, I was watching all. Very balls get, don't they? They, they, they are, yes. The spotless chubby's done that and he's dried it. Yeah. Dried it, polished it up. Oh, I couldn't open those windows because it's getting really hot now. Windows? Yeah. The door, yeah. The doors, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So that's going to go there. Stick that in there. 
So I've only managed to show you one colour, girls. There you go. <laughs> so. Right, let's do the cake mix. Cake mix. So, our cake mix here. And that really very simple. Blue. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous, that blue. Really nice. So that's that's uh, a couple of drops in there, and then I've took a spoonful out and put it in the white, and that's given it a nice, like, minty green colour. Mm -hmm. So sticky toffee pudding mix, okay, so it's 500 grams. Okay, I'm going to put all that in. Oh, I've got no strength me these days. I don't want my scissors now. I think I've got three pairs of scissors out tonight, a small pair. A bigger pair and this pair, and I still don't know where they are. Pixie's also saying we miss our little more than she knows. Hey. Sugar and crumbs, we miss our Lynn more than she knows. Lynn? What she said. Lynn who comes in on Wednesdays? Yeah, I think it's says. Oh, yeah. She will come in on a Monday, sometimes she does. Right, then we want 175 grams of water and 125 grams of vegetable oil. My goodness, it's a good job that I read the, read the ingredients there, isn't it? Because I only put, 100, I only put, 100, only put 50 grams in. So I have to measure that after again. Right, place the sticky toffee pudding mix and the water and the oil in a bowl, simple as that. Okay, let me get the scales. Zero it, because I was guessing before and I only put 50 mils in. So. Spot on. Right, just going to go over to the camera. Yep. Yep. And we need 125. Very much bang on that, 51. We need 125. This is vegetable oil. Yeah. Yeah. Or sunflower oil, does it make a difference? Vegetable oil. Let's put on again. Is there a particular mixing of all things? Paddle mixer. Paddle mixer, I'm just going to turn paddle. that on. Paddle, yeah. Paddle, it's a paddle beater. So then I'm going to put the oven on as well. I've got a fan oven so it warms up really fast. And the fan oven, now Karen always bakes on 140 and so do I. Um, for this recipe though, it is actually 160, but it depends how fast you want them to bake. I might need to speed up now. So we we'll turn that on, and what you do is you mix on slow speed for a minute, then you scrape down. So let's give it a couple more seconds. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous. A few, a few people say commenting saying that uh, if you put dates in it, chopped up dates. Oh as well, yeah. But it well, it's actually cool. got chopped up dates in it. Has it? Yeah. There we go, pieces of dates. Yeah. Yeah, it's got little little pieces of dates in it, they're nice. But you can put more in. So then you scrape it down, then you turn it on, then you go for a higher speed. And you leave it on for four minutes. So let me have a clean up, four minutes. Move that out of the way, get me pan. Right, so 
Clean up. I'm going to get ready my cold coffee again. I don't know why I have a coffee before I go live. It went nicely with the scone. <laughs> it did go nicely with the scone. Good mouth for my head. Do you, do you want me to make you another one? going to keep these on sale they would be 29.99 brilliant bargain it's a deal it's a steal it's a sale right. are we going over the top yeah we are going over the top are you ready <laughs> yeah. or was it are they just going to look at the bottom of the thing then look there you can see a date there look you see it yeah. loads of them in there the smell in the kitchen yeah. you see them there you zoom in. There we go. Yep. They're lovely. Beautiful. So these are currently at 500 grams at yeah. 599. They are. And then um, the kilos would be 999. Kilos are going to be I'm hoping so, but the prices have just gone up. So um, we've got to see. Right, okay. Let's get a scoop in. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Done. Easy. That easy. All the stress out of baking. You don't have to go and buy your eggs. You don't have to buy any butter. You don't have to worry whether they're going to rise or not. So you can put it in a loaf tin, all as one. You can put it in a round tin. A square tin, you put it in the muffins. I just thought I'd show you how nice these muffin cases look. So that's why I thought I'd show you the cake mixes. That's the first time I've seen the cake mix. Is it? Yeah. And um, you impressed? Yeah. <laughs> you, you've got me behind camera again, just gobsmacked. <laughs> You're impressive, I think we do you. You're I, so easy to please, Mark. Well, yeah, but no. <laughs> Are we looking at this lot, actually, or am I just disappearing? It's just disappearing. What have we got? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm gulping at it. I'm yeah, like, well, they'd like to gulp at it as well, if you don't mind. Keep an eye on the bloody camera. Sorry, that's me being told <laughs> off. I don't look at that all the time. To keep an eye on it, you just I know, I'm sorry, my bad. I'll learn it. Is that a new word that my bad that everybody says now? Do they say anything? Do they, they say so and then go my bad? I didn't get it at first. The first person I heard it off was James. He used to go my bad. I used to think I just thought it's because he had got didn't know what word to say because he's Spanish. Lots of you heard it. But is that the new like you know when kids used to come out and they say, Oh it's sick that And I used to go, No, it's not sick. They go, Yeah it is. These are going to be massive, these. Do you know what? I think these are going to explode now across the thing. <laughs> Quite deep those as well, aren't they? Yeah, well, I think I must get another one on. Got a bit over there. Got some more cake. You want to do that? I think I've got enough for one. Yeah, pass it here. Stick this one in. There you go. We'll see how much this small bit goes in. So the 500 grams normally does how many cupcakes? I don't. 
the 500 grams, grams normally does how many cupcakes? Well, the 500 grams does a two pound loaf tin. Two pound loaf tin. Yeah, and it does um, 14 to 16 cupcakes. And I put double the mixture in. So about seven is about right, isn't it? Yeah. Because we want really nice big muffins big, here. fluffy ones. Just let me go and get a scraper because I don't want to waste any. Just one minute. It's all right, I've got my finger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You think, yeah, you can have them. They're for you. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that is proper sticky toppy. Pardon? Mm. They're nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. Mm. It's strong, isn't it? Very strong. Yeah. There you go. So don't waste what's in the bowl. Don't just go and throw it away because you'd be amazed how much you can actually get out. Just one second. Right. Oh, that's a little bit of a nifty one. Well, it gets everything out, you see, so you use your scraper. Look, and play the ball. Don't waste anything. And do, do, you, do you get that from that you That stops well? all the kids being upset. I get it because I'm on a diet when I do this. <laughs> so I look stick my finger in all oh, my poor back. I don't think I can stand any longer. Can you, can you get that little scraper to lingy from you? We used to sell them, we don't sell them anymore. <laughs> These are going to go in the oven. Now, how long does it say go in the oven for? Uh, muffins. For 120 gram muffins, 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, they'll be just done just before we go on that yet. Yeah. So, the benefit of uh, Jody, who's just logged on, yeah. we're doing easy cake mix, 500 gram sticky toffee in some tulip baking cups. So the cake mix is currently $5.99. The tulip baking cups are $2.49. And you get 24 in that, is that right? 24? Sorry, I wasn't listening. The tulip? Yes, 24. 24 in those, so. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's have a little clean up again. And the sticky toffee it tastes fantastic. Yes, let's do. Let's get that down. I'm trying to get those back on again, aren't I? Should we have just looking at the blue board? Oh, out of the blue. You can tell he's no carvies in gross with everything. <laughs> have you not actually seen anything tonight? <laughs> are you having a chat after? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> but it's nice to see your enthusiasm, Mark. Oh. Right. Okay. Right, Mark, trying to get my cake out. The one from the freezer? Yep, please. Yes. See, this is when real conversation happens when I drop it. Pardon? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right, so we only want to crunk out this, don't we? So, um, get some more water in this. Oh, thank you, Debbie, for siding with me. What? Debbie said he's doing fine. He is? But how much did you see, Deb? <laughs> I'm going through this after. Angie says Mark is fabulous. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> was that because you lot were looking away at the time, was it? You didn't notice? Um, Molly said he's doing great. <laughs> you wanked at me, you. <laughs> Angela's saying I'm a good salesman, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you everyone for your support. <laughs> right, I've just had to have a sit down a minute because my back is killing me. Right now, oh, what do I do with my spatula now? I've gone again. I don't know what I've done with all these tools in today. I've lost three pairs of scissors and one knife. So when you started three years ago, I believe you were using an iPad. No, we started doing lives eight years ago. On an iPad. Oh, for over three years, sorry. Yeah, we've been going ten years this year. Yeah, so for three years, no. So we started 
with an iPad in this very kitchen up that end when this kitchen was two. Um, and then we started, we then got some other cameras to go with the iPad so we could fluctuate. And then we came into this system. Simon put this system together in fairness um, in 2020. And then we like this. Much better. It works. Mm -hmm. It works if the uh, yeah. cameraman is big It does work it. if the cameraman runs yes. watching it, yeah. Exactly. I didn't behind his computer now. Well, at least it shows that he's enjoying himself. He's watching what the presenter's doing, isn't he? Hey. So what I do is I just, I don't get stressed about put the screen with my cake. There you go, it's going on. It's going on. That's the way it's going on. Off. I'm not bothered if any jam seats through, it doesn't bother me that. I know it does upset some people, but it doesn't bother me. My thing is about the cakes tasting nice, that's all I'm interested in. Does that cake taste nice? And if it tastes nice and it looks pretty enough, then I'm happy. And everybody I've ever given a cake to has always been happy. I've never had actually anyone on it. But I don't sell cakes for a living. Never have. Don't want to. I just enjoy baking. If I'm honest, that's how Sugar and Crumbs came about. Just me playing in the kitchen. And looking on YouTube and seeing that everybody was frigging marvellous. And I thought, I'll never get to that. And then I went on a couple of classes and I thought, oh, I'm never going to get to that either. And I've always had a bad back. So what I did yet last week when I threw that um, rolled fondant off, or buttercream fondant, whatever you want to call it, that's just my typical way of doing things. What happens is, once I, my back just goes as I go over. So I'm not going to go for this really nice and smooth. Let me just... Uh, Take the jump bit out. Nice, everybody was having a little bit of nostalgia moment. Have they? Everyone was having a little bit of this nostalgia what, in moment the old days? from the old days. Right, okay. I get embarrassed at what I make now, never mind what I used to make then. But, you know what, it's got me some great customers. As they say, keeping it real, that's our new strap line. Mm -hmm. So many ladies said to me on Saturday, the thing with you, Carol, is you just keep it real. Somebody gave me a lovely compliment, their husband came in, and normally he doesn't watch, but he sat watching with her. Anyway, I really like that woman. She's real. So I'm throwing the rolled buttercream fondant off the top of the cake. Right, okay, so. I'm just going to change the camera so you can see it a little bit nicer. Yeah. See some of the products as well that we're using tonight. Yeah. So 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw a load of um, sprinkles together. So we do a range of sprinkles called Sprinkleicious. Okay. So I am. Uh, well, they're got... on offer as well. Yes, they are. So I am going to just mix them up because we haven't got full packs here. So just so you know, I'll mix them up. So the sample batches that we've got here. Go on there. So we've got four different blends in here now. Nothing wrong with you making your own blend, girls. So there you go, look at that. So that's our coronation one. I forget what they're called now. I've just realised I've made blue buttercream crank here. Here we go. Let's start again. <laughs> We'll use them for next time. I forgot Here's what we I prepared earlier. Eh? Here's yeah. what I prepared earlier. We were making, we were making <laughs> pink before. That's why I got them out. Sorry. So here we go. Good job we've got blue ones in it. There we go. There we go. Pink would have gone well with the, the, the blue. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh, we never do blue cakes, anyhow, these are they? Right, let's get our acetate out. I think we said we were going to use, I think we'll use the four inch. I think I said six or four inch, didn't I? We're going to use the four inch. So somebody asked before, what is acetate used yeah. for? Well, you use it for doing your chocolate colours. So let's undo one of these. When I can get in the packet, See the seam there, there, that's one way to get in the back of it, isn't it? There we go. Pull back it off. Very well packaged, these are. They are. Yeah, make sure you pull the packaging off. It's going under the acid, that first layer of the acetate. Thank you, Nikki, for putting the link there. Yeah, thank you, Nikki. So they come in, eight, they come in four sizes, eight inch, six inch, four inch. And two inch. Uh, and two inch as well. And they start okay. from £3.25 up to £6.95. They do, and they're five metres long, so you get loads on it. Oh! Yeah. Right, scissors again. That's long. Now I've never done this before, but we're going to have a go. So, we are going to have a go. Now I'm not sure if this is the right way to put it on. Or the wrong way. But I'm putting it on like this. And I've eyeballed it. Claire, is Claire Corbett watching tonight? But she's dying, isn't she? Claire Corbett, I think, is watching. She just uh, she commented, so you can use it for a nice straight stack of your tortez layers. Yeah. Yeah, making sorts and that. Right. So we are going to cut that down. <laughs> Don't know if that's even or not, but you know what it's going to do. Right, just a minute. Right, I've got a box here prepared. Hello to Caroline Allen. Hey. She's just coming from work. Caroline. Oh, Caroline, yeah. Mm. Ooh, they smell nice, they have cakes, don't they? Right, now this is 
celery. I haven't got a big enough pan in here because all of you know that our grill pan's gone missing. You know what the funny thing? I think there's somebody stealing real fans of the Because sure mine's missing. gone missing and all. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so what we'll do is it so we can catch the sprinkles. So we are going to get our sprinkles. And we are just going to put them onto the cake. Okay. Ah, I see that. So I'll push them onto the cake. Like this. asking who could possibly have lost that? Lost what? I'm presuming the grill pan. Well, we know we've lost it, don't we? Is it flare? Is it flare? No. Oh. John? Not admitting to it. To be honest, Anita turned around to me and said, you threw it out. Hey? Okay. Anita, she said to me about, about ours, he threw it out. Oh, John would have thrown ours out. I know he's thrown out. He's just about to admit to it. Because he's burnt I, something in it. I don't remember throwing it out. He did it with the, he did it with the pan as well. <laughs> of course he threw it out. Michael used to walk our dogs in, Dob John, in years later. Well, not years later, several months later. He said, oh yeah, it was burning on the hob. When we couldn't find the pan. So I've done all that lovely and neat so you can see that round there. Okay, now you're going to wonder how I'm going to get the acetate off in a minute, aren't you? I am. Well, it's got to go in the freezer first. Because um. if I pull it off now, the buttercream is sticky, so we need to oh, pull it yeah, off in a minute. Oh, yeah, peel off, it? It'll peel off, it? Yeah. yeah. So, let me just put that on there. Put this back in here. I'll have to find something bigger than this. What, than the scone tray? Hey, than the scone thing, yeah. It worked well with that. Yeah, it was alright. Could do something bigger though. Yeah. Right, so now, do the scone thing again. I'll go around the top. Demi Hargreaves says that uh, she's 
She might try this for her friend's cake. Yeah, it just get, looks great already. Just do a, get a bigger pan. Get, get a bigger pan. <laughs> yeah. Of, don't burn the original. Is that, is that the way? Yeah, don't burn the original. Use the big one out of your oven. Don't use the little grill pan. It's too small. The grill pan's the same size as this. Freaking pointless, really. Have a little play because I don't need all these little. I'm going to have a little play because I don't want all those little nubbly bits there. They can go in the middle. I'm taking them off because they've um, got some else to go around the edges. Right there, okay. So, has that gone all the way around? Mm. Let me get yeah. my, just an overhead shot so they can see it from the top. Now, we have got a couple of sprinkles around the side because my cake wasn't perfectly straight, as you know. So, some of them fell down the collar. But we're not bothered about that, are we, girls? Right, so let me put those in the fridge. Let me put this cake in the fridge in the freezer a minute. Right, Mark, can you carry that and put it in the freezer for me? Yeah, can you do? Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. Now that I know it's this. The workshop's clean, don't worry, girls. They're all very well impressed with it, Carol. <laughs> well, we haven't seen the finished bit yet, have we? Looks so pretty. <laughs> we haven't seen the finished bit. Nice to do glue for a change, isn't it? Loving the look. Um, they've not been in there that long then, have they? 35 minutes. Ooh, they're looking good. Oh, they smell and so nice, don't they, Mark? Mm. Right, here we go. That's over there. Let's get rid of that. Right, what are we going to do now? We're going to do our 2D piping bags. Right. Right. You say 2D? We're going to use the 2D, Mark. 2D? 2D. And, and, and what are they at the moment? Piping nozzles. No, what, 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 are they, what are they on at the moment? They're on offer at £1.25. I thought they were on offer, Carol. They are on offer. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? £1.25. £1.25? Yeah, £1.25. For nozzles. a singular 2D nozzle? Yeah, absolutely. You need and you can choose what... what, what we were doing deals here on Saturday. You could buy your 2D nozzle and if you bought three, you got a, you got a box. A white clay box. Not any box. A sugar, sugar and crumbs, crumbs box. box. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that to me. I don't know who it was who said it on the day. Uh, it's like it's not just white. Emma Harlemorses, Emma Harlemorses, Michelle Quinn and Karen Griffiths were great, great sales girls on Saturday. Basically, we've sold off all the stuff in the kitchen. We've got loads to sell. And uh, we've just got rid of all the stuff that's out of the kitchen that we no longer use anymore. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that we don't longer use it anymore. And if I don't sell it, there's no point in having it here. So we've got loads more to do. We just didn't get it all done. So Sue Sherwood is asking, how many do you have left? Oh, God, I don't know. We're still over 500. I know we are. I'll have a look. Actually, Karen Naylor might know, because she had to do the figures. Is Karen Naylor watching? Uh... Karen Neely, if you are watching... She'll be able to say because she had to do a, a count up today. Uh, Nikki's put the link on. Good girl, Nikki. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Nikki. Karen Neely says 680. 680. So get them oh. now before they go. God, I thought we, was, I thought we were getting down to that 500 mark. Oh, God, can't believe it. Um, Joe Twyman, I hope yeah. you said that right. Um, Carol, what colours would you use for really deep purple? Um, I wouldn't know. You'd be best off. Uh, our purple on the other set, see our other cocoa colours there, these. So these are two many different manufacturers, this one. But this set of colours, cocoa colours, the deep purple here is beautiful. We haven't got purple in that set. Excellent, that. Right, 
Linda Mars asking it, asking you if it, she's you've still got her pink board. By the look on that face. Um Anyway, so the 2D nozzles. Do you know what, Linda? I feel so friggin' bad. I knew somebody asked me for it. I couldn't remember, and I thought they said they were coming to the demo day. So Michaela Jeffries asked me, could she have it? And I, I knew it wasn't her who asked, could she have it? But I couldn't remember, and nobody else at the demo day said, oh, I, I remind you about the pink board. So I let Michaela have it. And then um, another lady bought uh, Karen Griffiths' pink board off her. And, um, and then another lady said... Um, came to me and said oh what such a buddy wants to know could you buy your pink board but she hadn't reserved it and then um, I said well, I've only got the grey one so I sold her my grey one I am so sorry I feel all right arse I thought you were cut there I thought I, I, how come you haven't spoke to me before about it was you supposed to message me or something oh, I feel so bad <laughs> oh dear Right, so put that lighter green in there, put the dark, the lighter green, that uh, minty green in there because that's what it's gone with the blue. Really impressed with this blue. Mm. Lovely. It's like a city blue. Yeah. Who's putting this in their uh, bags and their baskets? Only on offer tonight, these. £18 for nine. Yeah. You're going to love them. Oh, I'm so sorry, I feel so bad. She's, she's put a crying, oh, the crying I'm so sorry, emoji. I feel really bad. <laughs> I haven't even got another one. I didn't even want to sell it myself, if I'm honest. I didn't want to sell it myself because... Um, because I love them. I absolutely love them. But there's no point in me having them. I can't get any more from the supplier. So... And if I have them, everybody's going to say, where have you got that from? And I just can't get them. And that's the whole reason why we're selling stuff out of the kitchen. It's got to go. Jody Booth, uh, what's 18 for 90? It's the colours. The colours. £18 the colours. Pound for one night, 7 o'clock tomorrow Tonight, morning. Yeah. It's gone. So it's these colours. They're cocoa colours. So we've, right got, we've got 50 bundles. And... Um, they're beautiful colours. So we've got indigo, we've got cornflower, navy, wild lime, dark rose, uh, magenta, teal, flamingo, and hot pink. Okay, so these are absolutely lovely. You're going to love them. Yeah. Amanda oh, yeah. Shaw said she's ordered hers tonight. Yeah. Quickly, them it's less than fifty now. Yeah, and putting them on the put them on offer for tonight only. They're, well, when I say tonight, they'll go off the website when I get up in the morning. So um, grab them. Works out two pound a bottle. Grab them, and they won't be coming back because we're going to go to a different supplier. We're Peter going to go to the supplier who makes these. We're going to get them off him instead. And there's nothing wrong with this supplier. All that happens is I just have a bad vibe because the first lot went missing. The second lot weren't produced properly, and um, they were they just they weren't right. They were nice for sugar paste, but they weren't right for the cocoa colours. And then this is coming. I just thought, no, you know what? I had a chat with Claire, and Claire, Claire's going right. No, go to the supplier and mix these for you. So, and uh, so we're going to do that. Harlem so. horses have, have just. Are we just going to look at the blue board. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you moved the pit pop <laughs> again. Two things. <laughs> Two things. Right, okay. So, Harlem Horses, basically, we've, we've just sold another 300 2D nozzles within the space of 10 minutes. Okay. We were down to 380 now. <laughs> Why have you all bought 3D? She, she, she just told me now, 380. I mean, at a bargain of £1.25 <laughs> for a 2D nozzle, it does all these amazing things. Come on, ladies, can't wait to see the end of these. To be fair, I'm not oh, that bothered. I'm going to go start doing them on TikTok anyhow. <laughs> We're just waiting for our, our TikTok shop is opening. We're just waiting for our developers to uh, put the uh, products on. So instead it'll be on in the next two weeks. And then we'll be doing lives on TikTok. I'll get rid of them on there. Did you see in that in that packet there the, in the nine colours? Is there um, purple? Is there pink yeah. and wild lime? 
No. If, so in this one, in this one is orange, pink, purple, no. blue. Sorry, in the other one. Oh, in this so one, you've got yeah, a line, wild line. You've got wild line there. Yes, yeah, so you've, you've got wild pink. Line. You've, you've also got magenta, which is yeah. also a pink. Yeah, you've got flamingo, dark rose, these are all pink, surely. Yeah. Magenta, hot pink, teal, wild lime, um, indigo, cornflower, and navy. They're fantastic, you're going to yeah. love them. Right, there you go, Helen Mains. She says she has all the colours yeah. except. Um, hot pink and wild man. Yeah, but uh, just think if you've got intense gels. So remember, the the batch that well, the the replacement batch that came, there was something wrong with them. They weren't um, they were quite gloopy. And then um, Lee Carroll said, look, don't get rid of them. Just use them for colouring your sugar paste. And we showed you on here how to use them. And Lee actually bunged them in the microwave for a couple of seconds, about three or four seconds in the microwave, gave them a shake loosened them up and they were great for your sugar paste but the replacement batch has come again and um, I've, just, I've made the decision now that I, I don't want to work with this supplier so um, yeah so the, these are, are proper these you find with these right so I wonder if we should get the cake out it's been in there long enough hasn't it it's smelling beautiful Put the cake in the freezer oh sorry that one <laughs> I thought you went with they're smelling gorgeous they are You've got to see me as like a young apprentice that doesn't know anything. Yeah, I know. You've got to see me as a freaking old apprentice who doesn't know anything either. That's just winging it through. Just well it. experienced and, right. and sharing her Can knowledge with others. Can you do me a favour and pass us that um, board, that yep. stand there, please? So some of these sprinkles have got to come off because obviously we've gone over the thing. So. Uh, let's see what can. So just make sure you put it in the freezer afterwards, okay? Because so if freezer, you freezer, not fridge. Yeah, freezer, not fridge. Because if you don't put it in the freezer, your buttercream is going to be sticky. Yeah? So there we go. So that gives us our nice straight edges. I'm just going to brush these off here. So I suppose with, if you've got the acetate that's like two inch, yeah, you could do stripes if you wanted to. You could do like your stripes and stuff yeah. like that with it. Uh, my cake isn't perfectly straight, so we've got a few randomly ones down there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of character. Yeah, there we go. And then what we'll do here is, so around our edges now, we're just going to go round. And this is with the £1.25 2D nozzle. Yeah. Available on the link that Nikki has already shared. So I've got to come off there and then just pick it back up again. Using the cocoa colours. There you go, that's over the top. Yeah, and we'll just put those spare ones over the top there. There we go. There we go, that's that. So I'm just going to go overhead, just yeah. give them that. There we go, pretty little cake, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's done. I never think that's on the clean board because my board is clean. Just sprinkle in the middle there. Mandy's asking, can you recycle the acetate? Uh, there's no reason why you can't recycle it. Don't put it in hot water though. So if you want to, just make sure you've got a nice clean cloth. Okay. I don't really want you to recycle it, I want you to use loads of it and have to come back and buy more. Well, with the but price, <laughs> it starts at £3.25. I mean, there is five metres in here, so you don't have to recycle. But, yeah, look, you just wipe it off. Don't put it in the dishwasher and don't wash it. I suppose what you could do is, when you know, with your, your, your drip colours, yeah. you could use that for your drip colours, yeah. you know, like creating, like, little whatever, could, and then they peel off them. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right, you can make a colour with your drip. I'll do that next week actually. Yeah, you're right, you can do that. So yeah, you could give this a wash. So I'll just give it a wipe there, but you can give it a wash and then you can roll it back up again and save it. Put a little elastic band around it. Yeah. Let's get that in there out of the way. Right, okay then. So that's our cake for tonight. It looks alright, doesn't it? Then it looks alright, doesn't it? I've done with a bit more buttercream, but you know what? I think anybody would be happy with that. 
It's nice and solid. Right. I've got loads of buttercream left now. What are we going to do with them? Ah, oh, I know how you do that. What? You get cling film and you stuff it down and then you... Stuff it? Well, you put the cling film in, <laughs> into it, you get it from the sides and put it down. Put the cl See, I've, I've learned so much from you already. Right, so... And you always put a lighter colour with a darker Because of what's colour. in here, yeah. Because of what's in here, we're just going to put the light blue and the dark blue See, Carol's together. a great teacher. There we go. And then what we'll do then is, what we've got here... I'm just wasting time for while the cakes cook. There's five more minutes and it should be done. Oof. Everyone's loving it. Everyone is loving it. There's hearts, there's likes, emojis, and everything. Oh, do you like it? Yeah. Margaret Vance, it's brilliant as always, Carol. Oh, that's alright. Harlem Horses looks lovely. The clothes are pretty. We never do blue, do we? We want it for next time. And that can stay in the fridge for is it five days in the fridge or three days? No, it can stay in there for three months. Three months in the fridge? Yeah. Oh yes, the life of the butter. Well That's done, it. Mark. Well done, Mark. Now we've got the colour here that if I hadn't put as much in, which is what I wanted, <laughs> finally get in there now, girls. <laughs> I went and put that big blob in before. There you go, that's a nice blue, isn't it? It's like a duck, duck blue. It is. Isn't that lovely, that? Can you see overhead? Mark? Sorry. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> I know you can, love. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to give you cake and scones before we go live ever again. Get all giddy, I'm sorry. There. <laughs> Yeah, look, you can see the two different, so we've had three different blues there, haven't we? So we've had the darker blue, and you saw how much I put in. So they're great, those colours. Seriously, Claire will be using them as well. And, um, but it's only tonight that you can get them for £18. They'll go up in the morning to £29. And the reason I'm doing that is because I let all the ladies on Saturday have them for that price. Lee, Carol? The expert with the leaves and the, and the flowers yeah. has said it's your best one yet, Carol. Oh, behave. Behave, behave, behave. Right, let me get my cloth. Let's get these like that out of the oven now. There's a tray. I need a tray. Right, let's get these out. Oh, Debbie, you shouldn't be singing the blues. You should be singing Blue Moon. <laughs> right, tea time we need. So that 500 gram easy cake mix yeah. make, makes 14 normal cupcakes 14 or 7 to large. Cupcakes. Yeah, 14 to 16 cupcakes or 7 2 pound tin. Muffins, yeah. what, what are you paying in Costco? Not Costco, Costa Coffee or um, Starbucks? 3 pound? Yeah, I'd say 3 so. pound, 3 pound 25 for a muffin? I think so. Ridiculous. These Ooh. cases are so pretty, aren't they? They are literally looking like the ones I get from the coffee shop that I don't want to go into. I do it like a 
I don't like that uh, C words copy personally. Do you not? It's a personal preference of mine. Oh. I prefer the one going to the one begins with S. Right, I like both. Um, Molly Thompson, thank you for watching. She says thank you very much for the live right today, welcome. Carol and Mark. So thank look at them, it. they look nice. So, ooh, they're hot. <laughs> I'll just turn them over so you can see them. So they've kept the colour, the cases. Oh, oh, they're hot. And the nice thing is, look, no greasy bottoms. Oh, they're great. So if you're looking on the website, okay, we do have lemon drop in. We have the Genoese in, the chocolate Genoese in. We have chocolate orange still in. And chocolate um, orange. Chocolate orange cake. Yeah, yes. easy cakes. They're nice. Um, so we have that one in. Um, the sticky toffee pudding and the lemon drop will be back. I think the lemon drop is, is it lemon drop that was out of stock? They'll be back in on Friday. But these colours, if you want them for £18, tomorrow they're £29. Yeah for the nine there you go and then all these are on the website they're in stock as well two two four six and eight inch sizes sprinklelicious is on offer don't forget all the um different types of tulip wraps that i showed you loads of ones these are really pretty you can't see them so well on there can't see them so well on there can you so oh, these right. are like rainbow spotties aren't they oh, there? Right. there we go i'm going on that it's a little bit fuzzy but yeah Polka dots, see, aren't they? Polka dot, polka dot. Yeah, polka rainbow dots. polka dots, they're lovely. And then we've got rainbow stripes, uh, sorry, rainbows. Get my hand over. Rainbows. Showed them you all before. Blueberries, yeah. bananas, lemons, raspberries, loads of things. So, get shopping, girls, and don't forget to throw in a couple of 2Ds. We're 600 and something still. I thought we were down to 500. £1.25. Hey? £1.25. £1.25, yeah. <laughs> I've Have you enjoyed prices, having Mark back in the kitchen? Let me know, I'll read the comments after. Oh. Have you enjoyed having him back? <laughs> I hope so, otherwise I'm sacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Claire Corbett is back on Wednesday and I think she's doing something with the new brushes as well. So we'll see what she's going to put together on Wednesday. And then Lee Carroll is in on Thursday. Then next week it is Karen Davies on Monday. Um, Claire on Wednesday and Jerry Chu on Thursday. So you're not going to see me for a couple of weeks now live. I'll just be on comments, yeah? And then I'll be back on later on at the end of the month. And then yeah? I can concentrate on cameras. And then I can concentrate on cameras. Yeah, you will, because I'll be sat here next year giving you a poke. Right then, everyone, who I see Mark's in Wednesday and Thursday night because Antonio's away this week. Right, good. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy shopping, and I'll see you on Wednesday night. All right, then. Bye.